Salut, David Allman here, and in this video, I want to talk to you about how to develop a strong and solid technique on your instrument. This is going to be focusing on alternate picking, but you can apply the different concepts and ideas to any technique you want to develop. There are three shapes made of three notes that come over and over when you're playing lead guitar. The first shape is two full steps played in a row. The next shape is half step, full step. And the third shape is full step, half step. The primary purpose of the right hand is to trigger the notes with your pick. The primary purpose of the left hand is to choose the pitch of the notes. And then both hands have the same exact secondary purpose, and that's to mute any strings that you do not want to hear while alternate picking. The right hand holds the pick between the thumb and the index, and that leaves the middle, ring, and pinky free to, to rest on any strings that is below the note that you're triggering. And also the thumb, the side of the thumb is going to be resting on any string that is above the note that you're triggering to mute that string. The left hand's secondary purpose is also to mute any unnecessary sounds. And that's gonna be done mainly with the index. The index is gonna be used to mute strings with the fingertip right here. So if I am fretting a note on the fifth string, for example, my fingertip is touching the sixth string, muting that string so that it's not being heard. And also below the, the, below the finger here is resting on any strings that are below the fretted note, and that's going to mute those. So let's make an exercise. Why not play index, ring, pinky on the first string? And then on the next string, we're only going to play the ring and then index, ring, pinky, and then ring. Index, ring, pinky, ring. It might sound like this. These guys are not confident enough. They don't know that they can do it. You might have a very clear picture in your head and hear internally how it's supposed to sound, but your fingers don't follow up. They need to be reassured. And that's why I found that practicing very, very slowly is going to give your fingers the confidence they need to move to the next step. They're gonna tell you that they're ready by sending a signal to your brain, a warmth. You're gonna start feeling warmth in your wrist, in your fingers. That's your fingers telling your brain, I am ready to move to the next step. Don't give in to the temptation to speed up things when you feel the burn. You should be encouraged. The burn tells you that your fingers are feeling confident at this level, but don't listen to them. Don't speed up things. Rather, spend more time working at a very slow speed, the same speed that you have been practicing at to feel that burn, and that's where you're gonna gain all the clean playing, all the, the core element of your technique is gonna solidify in that tempo that you're in. Back to the exercise we created. Once you're done with that, it's always a good idea to mirror the exercise in a reversed way. You wanna create a loop that is gonna give enough time for your fingers to acquire that confidence that they need so much to move to the next level. If you start feeling pain at any point, the burn has gone too far. That's where you take a break, you massage, you move to something else. You don't want to develop carpal tunnel. You just want to reach that point where you feel warmth in your fingers, where your fingers are telling your brain, I am ready and I'm building confidence. Keeping a daily journal where you write down all the different tempos is a great way to know how long you felt the burn and it's gonna give you a good indication as to when you should give in and speed up things a little bit. I say that often, but I'll say it again. It's not the pencil that tells the story, it's the author. The pencil is your guitar used with the technique and all that, but really the story comes from inside and that's where the musical statement should come. So keep that in mind, practice well, and check out my new pack on guitarplayback.com, which is heavily focusing on alternate picking. It's going to walk you through a very thorough practice routine, and it's going to do wonders to your alternate picking. No matter where you're at, it's going to give you a super good, solid foundation. Check it out. It's on pre-order right now. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you very soon on this channel. Share this around. Practice well. I will see you very soon. Until next time. Salut.